was still a little under police guard. A third man faced court today. Dean Allen Craig reports. 32-year-old Stephen John Asling of Eagle Hawk near Bendigo faced court this morning, charged with armed robbery and car theft. Asling was arrested at the airport yesterday after the van he was driving was rammed head-on by a police Nissan patrol. A memo issued to all police stations today states intelligence has been received at the armed robbery squad that repercussions are likely as a result of the police shooting at Melbourne Airport. Members are reminded, having regard to the Wall Street murders, it is essential all members exercise extreme caution when attending to any call. A second man will also face charges. He's under police guard in a serious condition in the Royal Melbourne Hospital after being shot by the Special Operations Group. Police confirmed today that the man killed in the shooting, 44-year-old Norman Lung Lee, was once charged over the 1976 Great Bookie robbery but was discharged before trial. Retired head of the armed robbery squad, Paul Delanus, said he had no doubt Lee was involved. We're certainly convinced that he was uh, one of the chief launderers of the money. Uh, a lot of the money we know went to the Philippines where they uh, opened up some of these sleazy girly bars. Norman Lee was one of the men under police surveillance for the past few weeks following a tip-off about yesterday's attempted armed robbery. Lee had a successful Asian food business in Tullamarine. Police found two high-powered rifles in the getaway van, including an Armalite military-style weapon capable of firing over a kilometre. Ballistics experts are now testing the high-powered rifles found in the back of the van. Police say it's extremely lucky the weapons were out of reach when the SOG moved in. Dean Allen Craig, 7 Nightly News.